today I just wanted to show you guys some yard sale finds, clearance finds that I've had, and a deal that I found on Amazon that you guys might be interested in. Now some of this is going to be completely useless for you guys, but I just thought it'd be fun to show my recent hauls because I absolutely love yard sailing. In my area, there was recently a huge community yard sale, and so we made the drive out to go check it out, and I'm absolutely glad we did. Now, we didn't find as much stuff as we did last year, but still, it was a great opportunity. So let's check some of it out, and I'm going to start off with probably the dumbest find I had, but it is absolutely my favorite, and I'm so excited to show you guys. You ready? Okay. It's Santa on a chicken with wheels. I thought this thing was so cute. I absolutely fell in love with it. And I know it's Santa, but this little guy will not be stored away for the summer months. So I'm so excited about that one. I paid $5 for this guy and he was beyond worth it in my opinion. Next, I also found a small wooden table and this guy is solid wood. It had water damage on the leg. They were asking $10 for it, but I offered them five since it had the water damage. I'm going to repaint this and it's going to be a dedicated stand for one of the other yard sale finds I had, which is a plant. And I'll get to that in a minute. Next, we have the spread box. Now the spread box, they were only asking $3 for it and it opens on the top. It flips up. And it also opens at the bottom for your bread. So I'm going to paint this and turn this into kind of like a little coffee keeper. I'm not sure what they would be called, but you know, I'm going to use it to keep all of our different coffees. And one of the things that we splurge on is coffee. And we absolutely love all kinds of different coffee. So we usually have a couple of different brands and a couple of different flavors on hand and it gets a little out of control in my cabinets so i'm going to bring that down to the countertop and put it in this bread box once i refinish it i will probably be painting the top and the knob black and the rest of it either gray or white i haven't quite decided yet i also found this little storage box i was absolutely in love with it and it almost matches some of the grass ones that i already have so this little guy, I'm not sure what I'm going to store in it yet or where he's going to be at, but I paid $2 for him. He's decently sized. So I'm very excited for that as well because we all love hidden storage. If it looks good and can hide some of our clutter, that's awesome. We have a lot of clutter here because I do bulk buy. I buy things when they're on clearance and I've always got an extra of something just in case of hard times. I don't know about you guys, but I've seen hard times as a child and here in 2020, we went through some hard times, especially as we were dealing with a pregnancy and an unforeseen layoff, a permanent layoff. So yeah, that's exactly why storage is important around here. Just keep all this extra stuff in, whether it be some of these trinkets for the garden, such as my pruning shears, because I have several pairs or what have you. Another clearance find. Now, these obviously aren't gonna be too good for much other than herbs, but they're good for herbs. I Normally these guys are a dollar and I bought four for a dollar. So you can see they're only 25 cents. It's a little bright, but they were 25 cents at Walmart. So great deal. Get over to Walmart and find some if you can. Another find that I had with the yard sales that isn't quite related to gardening, I actually found many, many, many clothes for resale. I paid about 50 cents per item and I even found shoes for 25 cents. So those are awesome deals and I will be able to make quite a decent return on them. And for those of you who aren't up to speed, I actually do a uh, clothing resale as another side job. So I do a couple of different side jobs and clothing resale is one of my big ones. And I, it's funny because I'm not someone who's into fashion, beauty, anything like that. I'm not into those things, but I absolutely love clothing resale. It's so much fun and I've been learning so much and I focus on kids and babies. So I bought probably a small laundry basket 
worth of clothes and I didn't give more than 10 bucks for them. Now the plants that I did not tell you guys about yet, which obviously you guys are going to be interested in those. So I got a, I believe it was a Snow Queen Pothos. Um, I think it was Snow Queen. I'm not real familiar with these plants. It's funny because I've had one for like two years now. But I wasn't really a huge houseplant person and for some reason I caught the bug more recently. So I got one of those and I paid, I actually split it with somebody else. I, it was a plant stand and the plant and I took the plant, they took the plant stand. So essentially I paid $2.50 for that. And the other plant that I bought was a plumeria and it was actually brought over from, the mother plant was brought over from Hawaii and I have a rooted cutting from that. And that was the most expensive thing I bought while yard sailing and I gave $20 for it. And I'll be sure to include a picture of that so you can see it as well as the other plant that I bought so that you guys can see what they look like. So I'm pretty excited for you know, $22.50. I got two really cool house plants. This one's a little messed up. Um, I didn't feel like untwisting it for the upteenth time. Um, my son loves to play with this thing. This is a, like a plant shelf. And you guys get the idea. It's a plant shelf that you hang from the ceiling. It's really pretty, really pretty. And it was only three bucks. So that was pretty cool. I figured it'd be awesome to put some succulents on. Sorry about that noise. Two more awesome finds. I'm actually getting ready at some point. I don't know when. Um, I want to do a survival notebook series and I can share that with you guys if you're interested. But um, I guess I should get to the point here. I found a binder. It'd be a great starter binder. It's hard and I'll upgrade it eventually to one that zips closed. But um, yeah, this was a dollar. So what I want to do with this binder is I actually want to print off a bunch of pages that revolve around gardening and fruit preservation. The idea being that it can be a reference point should we ever, you know, lose connection to the internet or maybe I don't have the books that are needed. And it's going to have a lot of information in it that you generally don't find in general gardening books or general homesteading books, general food preservation books. I want to include a lot of odd things in these pages. For example, one of them being making complete homemade fertilizer straight from your garden. This is something you generally don't find. You you find the basics about compost making and some go into depth and the different types of composting processes. However, you don't really see anything out there that teaches you how to make a fertilizer, a compost that is actually complete in the nutrition that your plants need. And some of those sources can be slightly difficult to really find. So I'd really like to have a notebook that kind of encompasses some of these things that if we can't access them from the stores and the people around us, that there is a page to reference so that we can make them or do it ourselves. So it may be a while before I get some of those pages released to you guys, if you guys want to see them. I've got to work on them, print them out. I just thought it'd be a really cool idea and it might be really useful for you guys too. It's just something that really interests me. It really picks my curiosity to think about what would happen if we didn't have modern conveniences. Now I'm not necessarily a prepper by any means. I'm not terrified of anything happening, but I am a firm believer in being prepared on a reasonable level for most things. But I do believe in being knowledgeable. So that's the whole reason behind this notebook is just to compile some long lost knowledge, some unique knowledge, some things that you may not think about normally. So I'll discuss that in detail later on. Again, if you guys are interested. Carrying on. Scissors, 10 cents. I swear I'm the scissor girl. I'm sorry guys, if there's a clearance on scissors, I'm gonna let you know about it. I'm absolutely terrible. I still have scissors from the last clearance. I still have kitchen shears from Dollar Tree. I have scissors everywhere. I love scissors. They're amazing. Anyways, how about a Dollar Tree find? 
Okay, so Dollar Tree has been getting in their winter gear. And I don't know about you guys, but I love beanies. I'm sure some of you do too. And I found this little guy. Look at that. It's really cute. Let's see if I can... It's probably about the best I can do. So it's cute. It doesn't look terrible. It's not bad. It's not bad. Totally wearable. And fuzzy little top on it. I've got a cricket and I'm going to play with this. So may not turn out very well because it's quite stretchy. But for a dollar, can I complain? Absolutely not. And now an Amazon find that you guys might really appreciate. Now, I'm sorry. I don't remember what it was. It was either eight or nine dollars, I think. I believe it was a thousand per box. So I got two thousand and I paid. I'm pretty sure the total was like sixteen dollars. I used points, so I'm not really sure. But again, it's Amazon. And look, they are plant markers. I'm sorry, guys. This light is so bright and I'm trying to... Well, you can see it there, but they are, they're plant markers and they're very thin plastic. They almost feel like a laminated cardstock or something, but it's exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I've been looking for. Like I said, flimsy, but I'm excited for these. They'll hold up to the weather. They will mark thousands of seedlings and they were the cheapest thing I could find and I will include the link in the description if you guys want it but I mean right now there's not that many of you guys watching my videos so just ask for the link and you shall receive. I am planning to buy a greenhouse this fall. I'm gonna get one of those cheapies off Amazon and it's like I think it's 10 by 20 by 7 foot and it's just one of those really cheap tunnels so i'm excited for it i want to see how it turns out before i put more money into a bigger more professional greenhouse i want to try out one of the 250 dollars ones with that i plan on selling a bunch of seedlings in the spring so that's why i need so many labels all right guys so i think that's everything that i've got to show you today for the clearance finds the yard sale finds all that good stuff so maybe this was entertaining to somebody out there. I just was excited to share it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you've had any awesome yard sale finds or any clearance finds recently, let me know about them in the comments. I'm happy to talk about this stuff. I absolutely love hauls. Just so much fun finding those deals, those bargains, and those really cool weird things like the chicken on wheels with Santa riding them. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. Bye.